such as Caffredi, Asin, and Herbert uh, Bartolome. Now, in addition to that, Boy has also worked as a music editor of Jingle Magazine. Now, if you think the painting is just his forte, he actually also plays the guitar, he's a vocalist, he plays harmonica, keyboard, ukulele, bass guitar, banjo, percussion, and drums, and the list goes on. If, if, if you're thinking, yo, I'm a little untalented, maybe, you're right, because I, I feel that way right now. Now, Boy likes to paint Baraka as many beautiful scenes, such as landscapes, seascapes, sunsets, and nightscapes as well. And now we're going to be able to see like what his rendition of that looks like. So, as if you want to, you can actually come over to the portrait. Boy, you can take it over. Can you tell us a little bit more about the painting and you know why you chose to depict that way? Uh, uh, this is this is my first only black and white. I think I changed after two days. Every time I like the uh, details yeah, 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 uh, uh, and white. I changed my mind. Uh -huh. okay. um, it's, um, Indian, it's, 
Medyo marami siyang accomplishments if you want. Alright. Makes you feel like a donut. I know, right? I feel like such a slacker all of a sudden. But Alan, uh, please uh, show us your painting. Uh, before I reveal it, uh, this is a secret, but I'm also a new stringer of ABS, CBN, and Black. There you go. Uh, just don't tell people. <laughs> just, just in case you know his credentials for us all in the... Okay. Um, uh, uh, this is a 14 by 18 uh, Actually, uh, this is a bit <coughs> wispy, sketchy kind of approach. I use blue and red as the dominant color. Uh, I use a bright background, light colors, bright colors that represents and Of course, Anne is the brightest and by far the most influential uh, personality in show business. So, uh, this is my way of, uh, this is my impression of Anne. I put a little gold over here because I know for the fact that she's not bronze, silver, she's a gold. Wow! <laughs> okay, so I hope you like this. Thank you. Thank you, Alan. I need to write that down. You're not a bronze, you're not a silver, you're a gold. Alright, uh, you not one of these days. Alright, thank you very much, Alan. Next up, we have Eric. Now, here we go. Eric traces his roots to Amon Rizal, the town that takes pride in producing two national artists. Of course, we have Carlos Botong Francisco for visual arts. Uh, visual arts aren't enough. We also have Lucio San Pedro for music. Now, he's primarily, uh, primarily a human figure artist who has found his calling well as a visual artist and an educator. Now, his 35 years in art. He was only one year old when he started, and he's 36 now. It um, <laughs> to be a journey of discovering nature, people, and God. Now, his work is a celebration of life in recognition of the bounty of blessings that's given back to educating the young. Now, his journey has taken him from Mono to Laguna, and now here in Barakay. So, Eric, please reveal your portrait. Yeah. Hi, Anne. Um, when I'm reviewing your your uh, movies on Netflix, I need to come back to uh, from the, uh, your Serena uh, uh, role like uh, uh, Yesodel. And um, uh, when I'm when I'm uh, uh, my creative process of the brain, I see that I need to have um, a transition of your life from your from uh, being a single to a uh, mother. That's why. My uh, my style probably fits on this subject because in my my color seems to like um, imaginative realism with the touch of impressionism. I mean the color is quite different from the usual color, but that's why I use uh, a monochromatic and the color of the, the the main subject, which is hue, makes it like a, a vibrant color using the natural color with the touch of transparent cubism. I'm gonna be honest. There was a lot of terms in there that I did not understand. I know. <laughs> yeah, the yeah. 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 You know, you'll have to educate us on that. But thank you so much, sir Eric. Another round of applause, please. Yeah. Thank you. Yeah. 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 Oh, that's what it means. Oh. Yeah. That's transparent cubism. Ah. You see the light coming from there. 
and there, even the light from here. So the light and shadow, the transition of light and shadow, and the and the and the concept goes like this. This would be the the, hi the highlight, the emphasis, and this would be the uh, the subordinates. Right. That's why I low down the color to highlight this one because it seems to be the the highlight and it's the subordinates. There you go. <laughs> Thank you as well Thank for the you. lesson in art. Thank you. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, yeah. We appreciate that for everything. All right, uh, next up we have Sir Jav Sabrino. Jav is an artist by calling, but is currently living in Boracay Island. Now he is originally from Mindoro. Now Jav is a self-taught artist as well as a mentored inspired artist by heart. Now during his younger years in Puerto Galera, he was influenced by many mentors which enhanced and honed his skills in painting. Now he also finds inspiration by his fellow artists here in Boracay, the very people that he's with right now. Uh, Japs will forever be grateful to God for giving him his artistic talent which allows him to express his passion, love, and appreciation for art, which he says is a reflection on himself. Now, one of his biggest projects today, I don't know if you guys overheard him earlier, uh, is a mural painting commissioned under San Miguel Corporation in 2018, which will still be seen actually in Fishron fronting the Kalban Port. And if I'm not mistaken, it took you a month to, to complete everything. It's a huge mural. <laughs> so imagine it's just a huge mural and you completed it in a month. If you asked me to do that, I probably never would have completed it in the first place. Um, so Jackson, please show us your portrait. <laughs> Do I even need to say anything else? No, I'm a winner. Uh, but just so you guys know, he's a Swiss born hospitality professional, currently living in the Philippines, of course. He uses art as a form of relaxation and reflection, drawing his inspiration from brief glances and momentary expressions of human faces. Now, desire, hope, sorrow, and pain are what form his artistic work which allows for individual imaginations and interpretations of the viewer. Now, using uncommon materials like raw linen, reverse canvases, and hardware tools, he captures human emotions by blending spontaneous brush strokes, drippings, and paint throws with carefully detailed and meditative features using, uh, utilizing two colors in the process. Now, his paintings invite to experience a rare interpretation of expressionistic and lyrical elements a seductive part. More works, huh? Yes. <laughs> I'm not gonna lie, I kind of anchored, eh? anchored on seductive harmony. I like the sound of it. Um, yeah. So, uh, thank you very much for, again for giving me and us this opportunity uh, to paint you. I think painting through uh, or, or working through a project like this, you get to know actually the person, even if you don't do a lot of research. But you use a picture that, or I do that, that sort of captures my imagination or captures me in a certain way and all my paintings to me it's always about the eyes and your eyes are beautiful and I think the eyes are the gateway to your heart it tells a lot about people and that's why I don't use all that much colors uh, uh, but want to really feature that part of, of the person so this is my you <laughs> wow. <laughs> okay, now it, it falls on to you. <laughs> it's really hard to ask of picking a winner. You know, it's so, it's very it's tough because each has a story um, behind the painting. First and 
foremost, I want to thank each and every one of our audience here today. Thank you so much for taking the time. Um, Mr. Patrick, thank you for...